Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video on the maintenance of the VR4. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, there's a lemon stand out there, people are playing music, kids are happy, and I have some time, so perfect time to do some maintenance work on it. So I've been waiting for some time, for a good reason, to open up the rear panel and do some work here. First thing, my antenna doesn't work. So I need to figure out if the mast is broken from inside or is it the motor that has gone bad or what's happening there. So I need to take off this panel anyways. And in, in one of the previous videos you have seen, I set up the phone, the car phone, the transceiver here, but it's not hooked up to the power supply cable because that's somewhere tucked in inside at this portion, just next to the rear driver side struts. So I'm gonna pull out that cable, that harness, and again, uh, my friend Jeff, he shared this power cable. He, he made it for me while he was making one for himself. So I'm gonna use this to connect the trans receiver to the uh, harness from the car. And with that, what should happen is when I turn on the car, the phone should turn on and it should glow and probably make some noise or something like that. We'll figure it out at the end of the video. So that's the goal for today. We're gonna start with hooking up the trans receiver to the cable, the harness. We need to find the harness, it's somewhere behind that pillar. And now while this panel is still open, I'm still, I'm gonna look into the antenna problem. Probably I'll put that in a separate video of how to fix that antenna problem. And this one will be primarily about hooking up the trans receiver with the power source, all right? So first thing first, what we need to do is uh, take this cover and this hardboard off then there's a tray on this side and there's a tray on that side so the tray on this side is secured with the help of some four screws we're gonna remove those four screws and then start taking off the panel we we'll also need to remove the trunk uh, sh uh, trunk cover um, and take out this entire panel. There are some screws here. So quite a lot of screws to open. It's pretty simple, nothing complicated. So let's get on to it. And I'll see you in a bit once I'm done with some progress. Okay, the cargo mat is out. So one side of that cardboard that goes under that particular joint that's kind of broken for me. So I had to remove only one of them and the mat uh, came out. It's sitting there. And I see some of the panels here are not that clean. Uh, maybe I'll wipe them down while I'm, I'm still here. So, uh, and I also took off the trunk cover. I believe we'll have to remove uh, that holder as well in order to take this panel out. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing is take, take off this tray. And there's like one screw, there's one here, two, there's one here. And there's one here four and then there are clips here at the bottom on this entire panel on the edges there's here there's more here on the side so I'm gonna take them off and hopefully I should be able to remove it I believe I need to remove these to remove these clips and inside them I'm gonna find the screw right so there you go I took this off and if I see uh, there should be a screw inside it so there's like I see one of them two of them and that should be hopefully enough to remove that panel off okay let's get on with it and see you in a bit all right people we have some progress so here's the harness um, I could find everything it's all bunched up together and uh, I had to remove the rear panel too the plastic panel that covers up all the trunk latch and lights and everything because the side the side panel is stuck under this rear panel so you have to kind of remove it so that you can pull it from under the rear panel so but this one i removed all the screws but i have not taken the whole pull the whole thing out from that quarter panel inside right because looks like this is quite flexible and already made give me enough space to go and look at the harness there and I was able to see it and just pull it out and the whole thing came out. So I do not have a need to take it off any further at this point. But I think 
it's better to put it up so that you don't break the old brittle plastic. So this harness now I see is it's going to come down and what it's going to do is go under this piece and come out somewhere here. Ready? So we'll do a quick test before we put it back in place. So here in the side tray, there is this uh, rubber cap that you need to remove and all these cables come from under it. Uh, let me pull them in. Probably it would have been easier without transfer silver in it, but that's okay. Almost there, and it comes this. And the only thing left out is the RD cable, and that's here too. So the whole thing has come here. It's trying to test. I think we just need to connect the power source and here's a cable for that and what we're gonna do this is gonna connect to here okay. this is a no-brainer connection like there's no other way to connect it Everything has a very specific spot. And let's power up the phone. And where is my, this phone cable? Yeah, now that I'm thinking, can I mount it? Yeah. Why didn't I think of this earlier? There's a quick release plate, right? I can, for testing purpose, I can always take it out. So here goes the power cable in. And here goes this thing. And I don't have a hands-free microphone to plug into it. And this is all I think I need to connect at this point of time. So I think I'm good. This should definitely power on the phone if everything is okay. I did test the phone earlier and uh, it worked. So let's go inside the car and test it out. All right, let's pick up the keys. And just a moment of truth, power and the RJ cable both are, phone cable both are connected. Uh, if everything works right now, then I can all right, we'll keep our eyes here while I turn on the car. Here. And wow, there you go. So I had to press the power button. So it does say no service, which is fine. But I'm wondering if I leave the power button pressed, will it come off next time when I turn on the car? Let's see, the power button, I didn't turn it off. Oh yeah, it does. Perfect. All right, this worked. So I think this is what we can do right now until I figure out the rest of the uh, rest of the process like you know how to make this phone work right so until then this is going to be a long pause on this project probably for six months until i have some progress to share but for now what i'm gonna do is clean up all the dirt here on the trunk i see all these panels i'll clean them up i see some trash here i'm gonna clean up everything and then start looking into the antenna problem why the antenna doesn't work and then put it all together and
that should be it so this part of the phone project is done the next part will be actually fixing it and making it work